God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. Dad, thank you for being with us again today. Thank you for ministering to us. Thank you for loving us the way you do. Thank you for giving us the love in us to love everybody like you do. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. The Holy One of Israel says, only in returning to me, Resting in me will you be saved. In quietness and confidence is your strength, but you would have none of it. Isaiah 30, 15. Do you ever feel that your prayers aren't going anywhere? That somehow they no longer have the influence they used to? God's message to the nation of Judah through Isaiah can give us some insight. As enemies threatened to invade, the Lord told the Judahites what to do. Repent and trust. Stop depending on outside sources for security. Turn to me and be secure. Yet as we see from today's verse, they would have none of it. I ask you, is this you? Are you asking God for guidance, help, and protection, but then insisting on having it your own way? Do you refuse to give up the destructive habits that undermine your relationship with Him? That very well may be the source of your stifled prayers. The Savior wants you to be His, only His. Don't refuse Him by clinging to that which keeps you enslaved. Rather, when you pray, listen to and obey Him. Humble yourself before the Lord. Return to Him with all your heart and make Him your only source of confidence and strength. In trusting him lies the answer to your prayers that will bring rest to your soul. When you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, thank you. I will return and rest in you. Thank you for showing me that. Thank you for letting me know that you only are my confidence, security, and strength. In the name of Yahushua, I pray. You be blessed now, you hear? <laughs>